Hey, how's it going? Thank you for clicking on the video. Before I get into it, what ethnic background do you think I am? All right, on with the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Dude. All right, so I did a DNA test through 23andMe. Previously on the life of c man Vlog. So I'm guessing this is what I pee into. No. Spit. Spit. Oh. This motherfucker spit. And when it first came out, it was what I expected. It just, it wasn't so centralized. All right, so this first one is like actually kind of shocking for me. And I knew throughout time, and that's what I said, throughout time, it'll be able to, through more and more tests, that it'll be able to focus on what my ethnic background or where my DNA is um, elsewhere. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. So there's been an update. If you've taken 23andMe, have you checked on your 23andMe to check out your, uh, your update, see if it changed? I know my wife who did it, hers hasn't changed, but because of the kids that we have together, theirs has changed. I'm not gonna get into that. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, uh, so the whole layout's a little bit different. Um, but I don't want to go to DNA relatives. What I noticed, like a lot of the traits were pretty similar or they were the same, but let's go to the ancestry report. And this is where it's all at. So I'm still 82.6 uh, Native American or when you break it down, it's uh, East Asian and Native American. And someone told me said, um, well, the, the East Asian is probably just contributes to your Native American ancestry. But I'm one of the individuals who always felt like, well, I don't feel 100% Native American, you know, I don't feel 100% Ojibwe, and through to through time, um, like I can I can I can tell like even by our language, like how it has been influenced by the French, uh, some of our words and all of that it has a French what do you call dialect to it, so I knew there had to be something in there. <laughs> and also, why why I asked you what I look like? Um, when when I found out, this is sidetracking, but when I found out that my dad passed away, and I found out his real ancestry, or found out who his real father was because he lied because of the times that he was growing up, um, he couldn't have this certain background growing up on a reservation, and it was just a problem. So he lied, said who his dad was because he didn't want to have the same thing, and I don't know. So that's how that went. So on the new updated version, what it points out is that my Native American ancestry is only 52.6%, and I feel comfortable with that. I thought that was more so of what I feel like I am, you know? And of course, it's it's Ojibwe from Red Lake Nation. But also the other ones are is uh, the Northern Asian, which is uh, Mongolian. And that's what I always like felt like. Like, all right, yeah, there's got to be some connection. And if you didn't watch the first video, I, I told about a, a story. I always used to go get my feet rubbed at, uh, you know, the little Asian massage places inside malls. And I had the same one that I always went to. But anyway, there was a, there was a newer lady there and she was rubbing my feet and she started speaking to me in her in her native tongue and and i was like i couldn't understand she was like she's like what's your what's your background what are you <laughs> and i told her what i was and i had to explain a little bit more what it was because they didn't know what native american was so then i explained it she's like oh okay um then the the person who was rubbing the person's feet next to me one of her co-workers uh they start talking and they and they laughed a little bit. And I was like, "What's what's going on?" And what the what what the lady told me, who was over my feet, she said, "Well, both of them thought that I was from their homeland. I look like people from their homeland, which is in Mongolia. And reason why they and reason why I fit the description is because in Mongolia they live up in the mountains, and because they live up in the mountains, they're they're bigger." They're bigger than the rest of the uh, other Asians. And it's just just how they're formed. So it's just like, you you look very Mongolian. I thought you were from our homeland. That's why I was speaking to you in our native tongue. So ah, just having that confirmation right now is just, because like, it was lesser before, but 
now that it's more significant, like I feel comfortable with it. Yeah. And so I'm just going to talk about the little more definitive ones. And so you, like, like what I said, um, the, the European ancestry goes into French and German. I think might lean a little bit more French just because I said that we have like a, a French dialect in our Ojibwe language. Some of us, anyway, there's different Ojibwe languages and different dialects because of the people that they, um, were influenced with by and the languages that they need to be accustomed to to the areas that they're in and the people that they're around. You know what I'm saying? I hope I said it right. Also, that was a uh, 5.3 French and German. And there's also 5.1 British and Irish. Some other European up in there. But then we get down to the South Asian, and that that didn't really change. Pakistani, I don't know. Maybe it still has to do a little more centralizing of the DNA, but I guess Pakistani, yeah. And 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 the one that's a little a little weird for me is that the last one is the Sub-Saharan African, and I had someone had people in a, from the previous video of the previous Twenty Three and Me where I was where I got to Sub-Saharan and got to the African part and. And they got a little defensive about it, not towards me, but just like that was a, a lie. And and I get it because um people say, Oh, we're 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 all ancestry we're all ancestors from Africa. We all descend from Africa and all of that and it's like, no, 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 and there's all these uh, arguments about it. But but for me personally, I am African, um and now when I told you in the beginning where my dad said he had to change his dad's name or who my, who his dad was is the reason why is because I was supposed to be a bunga he was supposed to be a bunga and if you know anything about uh, Minnesota history bunga George bunga actually which is like my great great grandpa yeah George bunga he was uh, the first African fur trader so to find that out it was just like a trip for me when my dad passed away I was like oh wait what I'm part African and and so even to tell like some of my friends because they I was assumed uh, like in our language our our little little slang that we would say for people who look Chinese or Asian we would call them Chinese hey Chinese because Nige uh, means friend then mix in Chinese it's a little wordplay Chinese (laughs) and so that's 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 some of my closest friends uh, um would would call me Chinese, <laughs> and that's what they thought when I told them. Like, damn man, I'm African. My dad's African, part African, and they're like, whoa, never thought it, man. I thought you were Chinese, not a not a Muknige, and a Muk is another word play for Mukadewias, which means black, and that's what we call the the black people. So Muknige, and they're like, that's crazy. I thought you were Chinese or Chinese. And here you're a Muknage. Weird. And also, when I started looking at it, it was, it was a Nigerian background that uh, the Bungas uh, came from. And so, like, I'm part Nigerian. But then you also can see the the facial structure, which my dad had. And sort of his dad, but George Bunga, was Nigerian. You could see the Nigerian accent was the high cheekbones, small eyes, and puffy up, up here. And just to, like, have this confirmation here a little more centralized with the 23andMe DNA analysis is, is this um makes me feel comfortable knowing that. But yeah, I thought I'd just throw out the update of my DNA analysis uh, through 23andMe, and I thank you all for clicking on the video and watching. Um, again, have you checked your DNA update and seen if it centralized a little bit more in yours? Are, are you considering doing a 23andMe analysis? Uh, have you? Uh, anything that you found weird or cool or interesting? And there, there's more stuff that w- that was found in that. I'll leave, I'll leave the link down below to the, to the previous 23andMe uh, video that I did. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you all an update. Thank you all for clicking on the video to see my vlog. And I'm out of here in 3, 2, 1. Peace out, my Neejas. Remember, Nijas, that means friend. Hey, have a good day. Like, comment, subscribe.